Good morning everyone, today we're going to be opening up a John Deere dealership here in Elm Creek. I'm starting off my morning here at the local coffee shop for $1.99 you get a coffee and a half a bagel. That's a pretty good deal here but really quickly guys take a look at my brand new truck. This is going to be my daily driver, the boss's truck. This is a 2021 Chevy 3500 Duramax Dually. This thing is fully loaded here as it is a high country but as you guys heard, as you guys saw with what I'm wearing, we are going to be opening up a John Deere dealership. This is going to be a lot of fun here it's been a long time coming and I think this is the perfect time to do it here this is the opportunity with Elm Creek there isn't really too many uh, John Deere dealerships I think the closest one to the town is about 50 to 60 minutes away here so we'll be able to help all the local farmers and all the farmers in the surrounding areas Now, if you guys do end up enjoying today's video, please hit that like button. It's much appreciated as it does help out the channel. Now, guys, we are a bit limited with mods, but hey, we're going to make it work the best we can here. Now, you guys might be asking, Square Row, where's the dealership? It is actually right down the road, probably about a half mile, and it is actually one of the main roads here in town. A lot of traffic goes up and down, which is great for us here. That means we have great advertising possibilities and uh, hopefully... Uh, there is farm fields even right across the street from a dealership so that is gonna uh, come into play uh, as well here but it's so cool to officially be starting a dealership series here in FS22 I do want to do some other ones and I do have some pretty sweet ideas here but here we are guys this is our dealership now uh, I think hey why don't we hop out of the truck here just do a quick walk around of our facility well guys, here it is. Our dealership name is Clever Motors. We do have a pretty cool showroom. It, it just mainly is a lounge area here, you guys can see. This is perfect. Actually, we do have a few employees already, which I hired to mainly do the office work, so I could be doing the inventory, uh, taking delivery of the new things, and being the salesman and selling some equipment here. So you can see this is our building, right around 2,500 square feet. Now we do actually have a service section in the back here, which is pretty, pretty good. It, now, if possible, I do know the owners of this building here, so we might end up renting that if we do want to provide storage or we need more service area and then things like that. But mainly, guys, out front and then this lot here is ours, so we have a huge lot. This is almost, I think, three quarters of an acre. It's right uh, around gravel. Yeah, look at that. Nice gravel lot, and we're going to be able to store almost all the equipment uh, that we have in inventory here as well. So the first thing, guys, we do need a uh, work truck a, a company truck along with a service trailer then the other thing I really want to get is a semi truck trailer that way we could deliver and pick up machines if needed from farms and things like that for the pickup truck guys, I'm thinking we're going to be using the 2020 Chevy 3500. Now I do want to go here with the dually. We'll get the adjustable gooseneck uh, and uh, we'll get the uh, drop hitch there. Now I think the dually is the way to go for us. With all the heavy hauls, we're going to do the basic work truck trim level. We don't really need anything too fancy. Hey, even roll up windows well, would be plenty for us. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see if we can get a really nice John Deere green. Oh yeah, that is perfect there. Now the dealership will be offering repairs and services out in the fields, out at farms. And what we're going to go with here is a Thunder Creek equipment trailer. This is the FST 990. This has an air compressor. This has a built-in uh, fuel storage. So lots of different things, even a built-in welder, which is going to come in pretty handy here. We'll be able to offer a lot more services so we can bring in more money. Alright, we need a semi truck here. Now, I am deciding between the three Mack trucks here. I'm actually leaning more towards the Pinnacle. I really do like the look of it here. It's actually going to be a little bit cheaper and it is still that manual here. So, we do want to go with the John Deere green. Wow, that actually looks pretty cool. Now, I would go with white or I actually really do like kind of the fire truck red, but I think this is the way to go and we are spending a lot of money. But hey, you have to spend money to make money and we do need these uh, things for the business. For now, we're going to be going with a small Demco drop deck trailer here. Now, I do want to get a low boy. Hopefully, we could get one soon, but until then, this should do the trick. 
This Chevy Duramax, guys, is going to be the perfect truck here. Now, I do plan to get a gooseneck tray that way. Uh, for the smaller machines, we do need to deliver this. Should work pretty good for that. But, I mean, guys, this truck is the way to go here. I really do like the basic work trucks. The regular cab long beds are just what are, are my go-tos here in Farming Cylinder. And I think kind of the most realistic here. But if you do have any cool ideas here for me, please let me know. I always like using your feedback here to really help improve the channel and the videos. And, guys. I'm so excited here. Hopefully we could do some multiplayer role play with this. Have some other people come in game. Try to buy uh, the equipment. I think that would be pretty, pretty sweet here. Bringing the videos to that next level here. Now, where should we park that? I, I don't really want to park it in the inventory. I'm thinking we should be able to park it uh, right around back here. Oh, yeah, there's no garage. So, yeah, we'll try to fit it back here. All right, that should be a pretty good parking spot there, but I'm gonna run inside to the showroom, grab my iPad, and let's get to ordering some inventory. We're first going to be starting off here with a John Deere Gator. Now, this is uh, the uh, XUV865M uh, here. I think we're only going to get one of these, but actually, we are going to get yet another uh, John Deere Gator here. We'll just keep on scrolling. This is a Gator. This is a little bit of our older model, but this is going to come in pretty handy here. So, we are going to get one basic model, and then we are actually going to get one here with a cab configuration here. Let's see. Let's see. We'll keep on going. We'll get one with a protection up front here. Really do like that and let's see I really want to get this and yeah uh, actually we'll get it with a full windshield there we're get a beacon light on it let's see any more customizable now guys the more features we have on it the higher the price tag the higher the money we're to be making from selling it here but this should be good all right, we'll get a few flatbeds for the gator here. Just something very simple. That way we have a bed, but we could custom order uh, different beds from fertilizers to small kind of dump tippers. Next up, guys, we're going to be ordering some deer equipment here. Up first, we do have the deer 333. This is actually my first time showing it here in a video, which is pretty cool. I think we're going to hold off on the track machine. I think we're going to get two of these here. And the next deer equipment we are going to be picking up here for the dealership to sell is the deer 50G mini excavator. This is it. Now, I still do have to work out those tracks, but hey, we got it in game. And I think for now, we're only going to get one of those. Now, guys, we are going to carry the all-new John Deere Zero Turn here. This was actually sent over by Rental Man Buck. I really do appreciate it. It's a Z994R, which is pretty cool here. So, we'll get one of these. Let's see. Uh, we'll get one, and then we'll get one with a few more customizable features here on it. Actually, we'll get one with the 72-inch deck there, and we could get a different set of tires here. Oh, I kind of like those. Those are definitely going to be tearing up the yard a little bit, but hey, we'll get it there. Now it's time to order some John Deere tractors here. We're going to have plenty to choose from. Up first, we do have the 6M series here. Let's see. We'll kind of check it out now. For those that do have the option, I will try uh, to get the American version here of it. That way, uh, we are kind of staying consistent, but that should be good. Now, we are going to be offering several medium-sized tractors here for John Deere. One of them is the older uh, 7810 here. And I will say, guys, it is so cool uh, just to have all these different tractors here in the game. Now, some of the newer ones I do want many of, but these older ones, I don't know really how much we want here because farmers do use old equipment like these. But, hey, uh, they're always uh, looking for the new ones as well. And I think we're going to build up the used inventory as uh, we have farmers trade things in because I think that's just the kind of most realistic way let's see here we actually do have uh some pretty cool wheel options here let's see if we can switch on through now i do want to get the mods there are a few mods that actually do make them american style which is pretty cool here actually i think we're just gonna stay here with the 6r series uh without the dual tires we're going to be carrying the brand new 2027 R series. I will say, guys, I really do like the hood on it. And look at that. We kind of have the uh, closest American we can with the dual wheels in the back there. So we'll actually get a few of these. I really, really do like the look of these here. Now, there are a few other John Deere's that we're going to be carrying the 8R series as well. Let's see if we could carry that. Now, it looks to be more European tires. So I think, let's see, we'll just go with the standard wheels then as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll go standard. I really want 
wanted to be as American as possible. That's mainly what my videos are. And oh, look at that, guys. We do have a few more. The 8RT will make it American as well. And let's see, let's see. We'll get a little bit of front weight on it as well. Let's see, 800 kilograms. It should be good there. And I think we'll get one more tractor. We'll uh, save the 8RX for a future video here. But let's see, let's see. We'll keep on going. And I think we're going to be getting the 8R. Yeah, yeah. We'll get this one. This is so cool. Really cool. We'll switch it to American. We'll get the dual tires on it. Oh man, guys, look at all that inventory. They just arrived here from the factories. And oh, look at that here. That is so cool. Now, one of the best parts about owning a dealership is you do get uh, to see, you do get to drive uh, some pretty neat equipment here. So actually, I, for the most part, we're going to be leaving these here, but I do want to do a lot of rearranging. I think I might do a little bit of that off camera here, but I do want to put some of the zero turns out front, uh, even one of the skid steers out front, some of the smaller things that we can here about like you guys saw at the start of the video look at our player we got a John Deere sweatshirt we got a John Deere hat on I mean I think guys I will have to say this is probably the perfect salesman uniform we could have here just I think fits us uh, quite well now a huge shout out goes out to the rental man buck for sending over this zero turn here I believe he just got this in game first time in farm sim uh, since this wasn't back in FS19 which is great to see here now the other few small things I mean we, we don't have too much room out front here I do want to put a few of the gators here I think we'll put a gator but I do uh, maybe we might buy a gator but I'm thinking we actually had a, a golf cart that worked out pretty well for us especially with the big parking lot we have I think I'm gonna look for a golf cart I think that would be a pretty cool thing to have that way the customers aren't walking around it and we could just uh, bring them right on over as well but look at that uh, wow the dealership is coming together I'm thinking about putting a few things over here, just some of the smaller things. Now, uh, the last few things I really want to do today uh, before I end up putting down the camera. There's a lot of moving to do here, but let's see. I really want to put, oh yeah, we'll put one of these out front here. Let's see, let's see. This is the 7R. Yeah, we'll put one of these right out front at the entrance area. And then I think we're going to call it a day here. Now, there's a lot of rearranging. I have to go put these in the system now. I also have to go put them up on the website. That is going to take quite a bit of time, but hey, it's gonna be well worth it hopefully we could get some customers coming in uh, maybe even tomorrow but hope you guys enjoyed today's video our first John Deere dealership video it's coming together some more work and we should be ready to go but until next time guys thanks for watching uh, stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more